Jennifer is up first in Middleburg, Pennsylvania. Jennifer, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Mr. Coleman. Thank you for taking my call. Happy to. How can I help? Uh, all right. So the situation is this. I'm in graduate school, and I will be graduating in May with a master's in social work. And this will be my – I will be going into the workforce, and this will be the first time that I've held a white-collar job since 2005. I've worked as a waitress, and I've worked – I've served in the military, and I've, I've worked um, locally. So I just want to know that when I go into – what do I need to do when I go into the interview process that will set me apart, not only with just my resume, but when I sit down with a, a potential boss – uh, what kind of questions do I need to ask them? And in return, how do I respond to some of their questions? Like, why, if, if with all the resumes in front of me, why should we pick yours? Yes. Very good question. And uh, But before I give you the advice, have you ever been in an interview process before, even though you say it's, it's your first time in a white-collar uh, environment? You've sat through job interviews before, correct? Yeah, Yes, I actually had, um, I was interning at a, a, an agency, and I actually had the director and the building administrator, as well as one of their um, counselors from another area, actually run me through mock interviews. Good. So I kind of know what to expect, but it's still the how do you answer some of the questions without coming across as arrogant, I guess. Got it. Well, uh, I'm going to give you uh, an actual free resource we just launched. <laughs> if you go to KenColeman.com when you hang up, it's going to take mm -hmm. you about a minute to have what I'm about to tell you, which is five strategies on standing out in the hiring process. We just published this free resource called How to Win the Interview. So I'm going to prepare okay. you so that you can perform. But I walk you through what to prepare for. The first section is what you need to know. This is you thinking through uh, everything that you might need to know about the actual company, mission statement, purpose statement, awards they've won. What is their specialty? You really need to know about the company. So they ask you about it. You have a real sense of uh, holistic knowledge of the company. So I tell you what you need to know. Next, what you need to expect. These are the type of questions you're going to need to be prepared for. How you need to dress. How you need to act. And what you need to ask. Because ultimately, Jennifer, I believe that if you uh, really ask good questions yourself, that's what sets you apart from everybody else. So you might get a question like, well, why would we pick you? And that's a question you need, to, you need to be prepared for. However, what I want to make sure that you're equally prepared for is when you get a chance to talk, it's not just you answering questions. Answer their questions. But you need to ask some questions. If it gets to the interview and they say, do you have any questions for us? You need to say, yes, I do. I have a few. I've, I've written them down right here. And don't be nervous about that. That actually makes you look very prepared and very impressive. And if you're nervous, you've got them written down. You're not fumbling all over yourself. You can ask the questions. So I've got a resource that's going to do everything for you because I don't just prepare you. I, I you know, tell you what to think about. I'm actually going to give you examples. So that's at KenColeman.com. So I want you to download that, okay? And then okay. I want you to have a mindset. Last thing I'll tell you is I want you to have the mindset that – you may not be the most impressive resume candidate, but you are and will be the most impressive candidate because of your preparedness and your passion to do the work. You tell them why you got into social work. Why did you just spend the last X amount of years preparing this? You've been in the military. You know, you served our nation. Why? Give them the why and how this company allows you to fulfill your why. They need to hear stuff like that. And let me tell you something. You, me, we may never be the most impressive people on paper, but we can be the most impressive people in the interview. And it's all about passion for the role and how you want to be a part of the bigger team. Remember, they're hiring you, Jennifer, to help the organization and them as a leader win. So all you got to do is show them how you're going to help them win. That's what they're looking for. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not a beauty contest. This is a, I need a, a rock star on the team. And it's not about how how pretty and how impressive your resume is, it's do they see within you somebody that they want to go to battle with? Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. You got this, Jennifer. I want to hear back from you, by the way. I'd love for you to email Madison uh, or call back, back in and tell us how uh, you did in the interview. And if this resource helped you, I'd love to hear that too. Or you can email us. Uh, so that's, that's exciting stuff. Go, Jennifer, go.